Hey guys, it's Drew with Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks. Uh, if this video helps you out, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and get notifications. Um, so today, we're going to talk about battery corrosion. And uh, on the PT Cruiser, I like this car, even though it's got a lot of problems. Um, what most likely caused this was I had an inverter. We had a power outage in my house and I had an inverter. So I plugged an inverter, which is something that gives you uh, power to plug in, to actual plugs. I've charged my phone and my computer. Um, and I think it uh, overloaded a little bit. It, it used too much juice and it kind of caused an issue in the battery. I don't know if that's it for sure. That's a theory of mine because this happened right about that same time. So anyway, now the car is having trouble starting occasionally. Um, the, last night I pulled into an AutoZone parking lot to go buy a uh, battery cleaner tool and um, I couldn't get the car started. Now, when it wouldn't start, it wasn't actually a dead sound. It was a ch -ch 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 sound. So it just wasn't making contact with enough power to get that battery going. So we're gonna clean that out today. So what we got here today is uh, some gloves, some protective eyewear, I have a panel puller tool that I wrapped electrical tape around, which is probably not necessary, uh, but I'm just worried about conductivity. And I'm not even sure the electrical tape will protect me if, if I create a spark between the two batteries, but it's unlikely. I don't know a lot about battery safety, so yeah. And then the guy at, um, this guy at actually, um, Advanced Auto Parts gave me this because AutoZone was out of these. I, this was $2.99 at AutoZone. They were out. So this was $4.49 or $4.89 at Advanced Auto Parts. And he price matched it for me, which they usually don't do. It was really nice of the guy to do. So, um, he actually gave me the rest of the scan that was for store use. And I really appreciate it. Um, because I didn't want to buy a whole can just for this. But this stuff is supposed to actually, uh, eat up that battery acid there or that corrosion and that stuff can burn you if you get that in your eyes it can be painful um if you touch it with your skin it can also be pretty bad so um yeah and also you want to be mindful of where that goes when you scrape it off because if it lands in your driveway it might eat a hole in your driveway i'm not sure i don't know but i don't want it landing on any of my car parts either there is a video where a guy just pours hot water on it and it melts it away of course it melts it away but where's all that acid go you don't want that dripping down in your parts so you want to neutralize the acid now some people use baking soda and water um i have this can the guy gave me so i'm just going to use this but i, I assume that works just as good as a neutralizer um but what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably, t once I get the terminal off, I'm going to scrape this off a little bit, see if I can get the main part of the stuff off uh, before I neutralize because it just melts with that can. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll get back to you guys once I get this air filter off because the other part of the battery port is under here, and it's mostly on the positive port. It's not really on the negative port uh, underneath there. So I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, so uh, I removed the air filter here, um, just the cover. And that exposes the negative terminal, and I removed, I uh, undid the negative terminal there. So the battery's sort of inactive. Um, but uh, so I just sort of even just touched the uh, corrosion with this thing, and it just, it was like cotton. It just floated around. So this hopefully isn't too serious. I know it can grow like a huge crystal all over the whole battery. You can see uh, over here where it looks like it did actually leak out, maybe a little bit from the uh, plugs. Or the little uh, things if you you don't ever want to pull those off on a battery unless you know what you're doing i personally don't know what i'm doing <laughs> that's where the battery acid is um so um but it looks like it may have leaked out a little bit there so this battery may be on its last leg but i'm going to try to get it <coughs> going uh, as much as i can i bought this used with the car or i bought this with the car so i don't know how new it was when i got it uh and i've driven this car since november of 2016 so we're now um two years in two and a year and a, three months in to owning this car so the average battery lasts about three three years maybe even four sometimes uh and it, it can, i had one fluke battery that lasts seven years which was really weird but anyway so uh we'll see if we can salvage this battery um you know but uh so we're gonna spray the uh cleaner on here okay and i've never done this before so we'll see what happens it's supposed to change color when it hits the acid Okay, so I got my protective glasses on, just so you know, and um, I'm holding the camera with one hand, and I, so I, I've got a glove in the other. <laughs> so actually, let me switch hands here, because I want to have, there we go. Okay, so, got the camera in one hand in this, so I'm just going to melt this stuff with that. Hopefully there's still some in there. They gave me a, they gave me a can that was almost low, or dead, it's still got a little in there. Now you can see this is actually just melting that stuff. 
I may have to use baking soda because it's can. No wonder he gave me this free. There's nothing left in it. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, we're getting a little bit out of it. Wish I had a little more spray out of this. Like I said, for me, it wasn't worth buying a new can. But you can see how it just melts that stuff. So it's neutralizing that acid. And then you're literally supposed to just wipe this up with a paper towel. So, okay, well, I'm going to finish doing this, trying to get this can to work, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys, so I punched all in the can because it was out of aerosol. Obviously, that's why the guy gave it to me free. <laughs> but I still had the chemical in there. Uh, so this is basically doing the same thing a reaction of baking soda and water would do. I personally wouldn't pay for a can of that uh, cleaner. Um, baking soda and water looks like it'll do the same job. It just foams up, and you let it sit for a little while, and then you wipe it off. And uh, so you can see how it just basically de neutralized a lot of that uh, blue acidy color stuff. So uh, I'm going to let this sit for a while, then I'm going to get a paper towel and I'm going to wipe it up with gloves on because that stuff will most likely burn your skin. Okay, so uh, we got the terminal off and uh, I put some more of that uh, stuff on there and it did the same thing, it just bubbled up. Um, a little of the residue, even though it was supposed to be neutralized, leaked down onto the hose, onto these hoses there, which is concerning. You don't want it to, to get on any of your hoses because that battery acid can probably eat through it over time. <laughs> so um, the battery is wet now. I'm gonna wipe it with a paper towel. I don't recommend pouring too much water on there. There's plenty of videos on how to do this, so you're welcome to sort through some of them on YouTube and just see what other people do or go into your auto port store and talk to them. You don't want to end up getting your alternator wet. My starter got a little wet down there. Um, you want to minimize getting uh, your electrical stuff wet, but um, luckily it's kind of warm today. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna try to wipe all the stuff off. I need to clean off the terminal there too. See how that's still got crud on it? I don't want any of that on there. Um, so um, there's also a preventative stuff you can spray on. I'll probably buy a bottle of the preventative um, once I uh, dry this off. And uh, so, okay guys, well, uh, we're gonna move on to uh, reconnect. I'll show you after the battery's reconnected and fully cleaned off. But uh, like I said, um, you know, don't just take my video for granted. Go to look on, on YouTube. There's a bunch of videos on how to do this. And most of them use like baking soda or something that uh, is an acid neutralizer. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get those battery clamps back on and fully cleaned off there. I'll tell you about one last step here, obviously. And that's this, this wire brush uh, that was $3 at uh, AutoZone. Um, <clears throat> and Advanced Auto Parts had it for like $4.79, $4.49. And they... They give it to me at a price match because Advance was out of them, or AutoZone was out of them. So you just rub this back and forward, and you, uh, you put it all the way down. Or actually, I don't even know if you're supposed to go one way. You might ask at the auto parts store because uh, I'm not a pro at this, honestly. Just doing this to be educational here because I'm doing it anyway. <clears throat> but the idea is to get any of that corrosion off and to kind of get the, uh, the metal tips. Uh, yeah, so there's no corrosion because the corrosion will prevent a contact. Um, I cleaned out most of this uh, battery cable there, but still in a little bit rough shape. If I'm still having trouble sh uh, starting the car, I may have to clean that further, so we'll see. But uh, the negative cable seemed all right, because um, most of the corrosion was on the positive terminal. So, uh, all right guys, well, um, I'm gonna hook these back up, and um, the, basically that's the end of the video there. So uh, if you guys have any questions, you can comment below. Um, and hopefully this helps some of you guys out if you're doing this yourself. Um, sometimes auto parts store guys will help you. Uh, they don't do this normally at auto parts stores to my knowledge. But if the employees are slow and you want, you know, you want to get a, give them a little tip, maybe they'll help you do this. Um, so uh, guys, this is Drew with Drew's Quicks, Fixes and, and Hacks. And uh, yeah, so I cleaned my battery today. And as I said, there's plenty of videos out there on this. So don't just take my word for it and how I did it. Check out some of those other videos. Thanks for watching, guys.